That edge transition is the, is the most dangerous portion of rappelling. As they say, there's nothing like practice, especially when it comes to saving lives, even from high atop the Mills B Lane Justice Center. They're demonstrating what they would do in a high angle type rescue situation, a rope rescue situation. Tom Dunn of the Reno Fire Department Urban Search and Rescue Crew tackles the tall core complex like a harness Spider-Man, walking along eight stories like it was a backwards walk in the park, and they like it. Anytime our team can get something tall to rappel off of, they they don't want to miss the chance. Across the street was Robotech, the county sheriff's SWAT team mobilization device. It's designed to enter any structure where we feel that uh, it is too dangerous to send in um, a team of operators. Armed with a camera to send back pictures, it has proven itself time and time again. Impressive as Robotech is, it doesn't quite measure up to Wally. The Reno Sparks Washoe County Consolidated Bomb Squad problem solver. Armed with actual weapons, Wally is called when a suspected bomb is found. This 400 pound machine is controlled by officers in the safe confines of their armored van. If the package is the real deal. We can use the, the two silver barrels on the arm there. Those are essentially their 12 gauge, just like a shotgun barrel. So we'd be able to blow the package open. The Bob Squad's robot also has a camera on it. That's what you're seeing me from right now and audio. You'll just have to make believe that I am a suspicious, dangerous package. There you go, Wally. Yeah, good boy. Everything I can do in a bomb suit as a bomb technician, this robot can pretty much do to some extent. And at a much safer distance. Covering the story, John Potter, Channel 2 News.